My name is Gregory Tai. We are here in Nijisiza Center, next to Murunda. I run the Murunda power plant up here. Normally there is a currency of electricity in this country. And I thought contributing to the electricity output would be something interesting and profitable, of course. Energizing Development is a global energy partnership between several countries, the governments of Germany, Netherlands, Australia, Norway, the United Kingdom and Switzerland. Energizing Development, in short, ENDEV, is mainly implemented by GIZ, German International Corporation, which acts, acts as the lead implementation agency. PSP Hydro stands for private sector participation in uh, micro hydropower supply. The project started 2006 by organizing tenders together with the Ministry of Infrastructure. GIZ put up a tender advertising for people who would be interested in the micro hydro power plant. And luckily, I won one of the, of the micro hydro power plants that were put in a tender. We also then um, offered to support these companies by offering technical assistance, assistance in business development and also some financial assistance. The GIZ provided me with the half the cost and the 50% helped me to acquire the equity and the loan to complete so that I could uh, complete for, uh, the financing of the whole project. In general, it was a quite close relationship we had with the companies. Uh, we supported them where needed, whereas, of course, they were always um, basically the ones responsible in running these, these projects. The relationship with uh, Repo and Gregory Tarrett has been uh, a very good collaboration and I think also a very successful one. Gregory was basically the first private entrepreneur in Rwanda to uh, construct and operate a private hydropower plant. You see, you can see this center that the people are welding and the people are using electrical machines. And you can see that the social side of it, there are bars that open later at night because there are lights on the street. And then up the hill, there is a hospital, there is a boarding school, there is a, a bank, and there is also a small center, a commercial center, where people are using electricity. Ari byinshi byahendutse kuko ari byinshi twakoraga mu gihe kinini bitakagombye kuba mirimo yabaye myinshi tukakoranga n'injoro ariko mbere kubera ko nta muro wari uhari ntabwo n'injoro wagomba kuba wakora. After four years I had recovered what I put in I had paid the low bank loan and I started making profit. The capacity of the private entrepreneurs is, has significantly improved. They now have lots of experience with developing hydropower projects. They have contacts to international suppliers, they know the sector, um, and also, of course, the policy framework um, has greatly improved. Several more projects are in the pipeline, and also a new tender is being started to develop uh, nine more hydropower projects. The government of Rwanda recognizes that to meet its objective would not be possible without the involvement of private sector. They are participating in various forums and benefits from various uh, incentives and schemes, such as ENDV, uh, energy development through GIZ. Being an entrepreneur, it's not about oneself. It's about the contribution one is making. And for me, I think that's uh, even the main goal. Although you cannot run in a, on a loss, if you run in a loss, tomorrow you will close. You have to make a profit, but it's not about profit. It's about changing uh, people's lives. But today, if these people can use electricity to do the welding, to, you know, to sew with their sewing machines, you know, to whatever they, are, they have fridges, they have light, I think it's something to be proud of. Wonder,